Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I would like to describe the summary of a beautiful play written by August Strindberg and it is Miss Julie. Let me start without any delay. Miss Julie takes place in the kitchen of Count's Manor house on Midsummer's Eve. Christine, the cook, is frying something when Jean, a valet, enters, exclaiming that Miss Julie is wild tonight. He says that he danced with Miss Julie, the Count's daughter, at the local barn. Christine observes that Miss Julie has been uncontrollably excited after her broken engagement. According to Jean, Miss Julie's fiancé gave her up after she attempted to train him, making him jump over the riding whip in the barnyard and she beats him. Miss Julie appears in the doorway and Jean becomes polite and charming. Julie invites him to dance. He hesitates, warning her against the dangers of the local gossip, but he goes with her to the party. A pantomime takes place in which Christine cleans the kitchen. Jean and Julie return and flirt more. Christine falls asleep next to the stove. Under Julie's order, Jean kneels in more gallantry and kisses her foot. In a dream, Miss Julie declares that she is climbing down from her social position. Jean has dreamed the opposite. Wishing to improve his status, Julie asks Jean if he has ever been in love. He tells her that as a child he got sick with the love of for her. He grew up on a wasteland. The Count's lovely garden was visible from his window. One day while weeding the onion beds, Jean caught sight of a Turkish pavilion that is an outhouse. Attracted by its beauty, Jean went in but soon heard something coming. Trapped, he fled through the bottom of the outhouse until coming upon a rose terrace where uh, Miss Julie was walking. Love lawn, Jean watched Julie walk among the roses and the following Sunday he went to the church determined to see Miss Julie once more and then attempted suicide. Moved Julie asked Jean to take her out to the lake. Again, Jean warns her of the injury of her reputation. Suddenly, the guests are heard approaching. Jean tells her that they are singing a dirty song about them and he suggests that they flee to his room. They exit. The patient dance around in the kitchen. Jean and Julie return to the kitchen. The suggestion is that they have had sex. Gesturing towards the rumor mongering crowd, Jean declares it is impossible to stay at the Manor house. He dreams of traveling to the northern Italy and setting up a hotel. Julie begs Jean to declare his love. She has fallen for him. Suddenly, Jean declares that behave coolly as if nothing has happened. Julie points out that he needs capital to open a hotel and she has not a penny to her name. Jean says in that case the plans are off. Julie becomes hysterical, wondering how she can live with everyone laughing at her back behind. Jean is unsympathetic, calling her as a whore and revealing that his story of a rose terrace was a lie. Crossed, Julie says she deserves him his abuse. Jean proposes a new that they flee together. Julie wants to tell him about her first love. And believing in the independence of women, Julie's mother brought the state to ruin. When Julie's father finally looked command to command, her mother fell ill. A mysterious fire then burned down the state. Julie's mother suggested to Julie's father that he should borrow money from a friend of hers to rebuild the farm. Jean says that Julie's mother set the fire and the fire friend was her lover. Julie took her mother's side and grew up to hate men as her mother did. Jean becomes tired of the Julie's talk and tells her that she is sick. Julie begs him to tell her what to do. Terrified of the consequences with the count, Julie commands her to flee. She exits prepared to, for her departure. 
Christian enters, reminding Jean that he promised to join her at the church. The morning sermon is on the beheading of the John the Baptist. Jean confesses to sleeping with Julie. Disgusted, Julie decided that she cannot remain in the house anymore. Suddenly the two hear sound of here. The count has come back. Christine exists. Exit. The sun rises, breaking the spell of Midsummer's Eve. Dressed for travel, Julie appears with a small board case and she begs Dean to take to join her. He agrees but insists that she leave the canary board, offering to kill it. Jean cuts the board head off in the chopping block. Julie approaches the chopping block, mesmerized, and she exclaims that she wants to see Jean's head on the chopping block and entire sex swimming in the blood. She pleases to stay to wait for her father and confess everything. The count will die of shame. Christine enters and Julie begs for help. Christine refuses and desperate Julie has an idea. The three of them can flee together and open the hotel. Christine speaks of her redemption, saying the last shall be first. Christine leaves, promising to tell that the stable boy to stop any attempted departure on her on their part. Completely defeated, Julie asks Jean what he will do if in her place. She picks up Jean's saving razor and splashes in the air, saying like this. The bell rings twice and it is count. Exhausted, Julie begs Jean to help her, saying that she will obey him as a dog would if he helps save her father from disgrace. Jean is immobilized by the sound of the count's voice. Julie tells him to pretend that he is the count and to hypnotize her. Jean whispers the fatal instruction in her ear and Julie asks Jean to tell her the first will receive the gift of grace. He cannot promise grace but he tells that she is definitely among the last. The bell rings twice and Jean commands Julie to her death and she walks out door. This is all about the play uh, Miss Julie and if you like this video and find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.